Hey, welcome to another episode of Emacs Goodies in which I go about and talk about Emacs packages that are not well known or not that popular or some packages that I just found out about. Anyways, the package for today is called Midnight, which is a pretty simple mode. The only thing it does is it runs hooks at midnight. So pretty useful. We'll see. So what I'm going to do is jump to the configuration of where I have it. So for example, for me, I have it uh, in my readme.org and I'll jump over to the midnight section. Beautiful. So I'm going to zoom in and we're going to have a look. So it's pretty useful. It's built right in. So I'm using use patch to configure it. So one thing I'm going to say is that the way to find this mode useful is to enable it after initialization. So after the init hook just started and it will do its thing at midnight. Now this is pretty useful if you let Emacs live throughout multiple days. I sometimes do that, but most of the time I'm always shutting it down or restarting it or whatnot. So it might be useful to you, it might not. You might have a server somewhere that you log SSH into an Emacs there, who knows. But it's here and this is how you use it. So first off, we enable the mode after starting and then we set up some configuration for the variables. For now, I set these up to zero just to showcase, be able to showcase this in the demo in the video otherwise we would have to wait until midnight and I don't know about you guys but I'm not gonna record an eight hour video <laughs> on that I'm just letting it show even if I do fast forward it but anyways these are just shortcuts to make it so that I can show it in the video so I have two variables delay general and delay special both are equal to zero delay general is just says how many seconds actually instead of just saying it let me just show you control HP clean general and it says the number of days before any buffer becomes eligible for auto killing. So you can set it that, hey, this buffer has been around for two days, kill it. Or you can say, hey, I only want buffers that are around for five days. If they're older than five days, go ahead, kill it. If they're younger, don't do it. So as you can see here, the original value was three, but I just set it to zero over here. And then over here, I have clean uh, buffer, clean buffer list delay special, which we're gonna go ahead, oops, wrong keyboard. Original value is one hour, and it says the number of seconds before some buffers become eligible for auto killing. And then we it uses some other custom variables that you can use, so like you can use regex or specific buffer names to kill, and this will take into account. So for example, if the buffer is older than 36 seconds, it can go ahead and kill it, but only if it's older than 36 and it matches one of these two. So that's pretty much it. And then I set up here the clean buffer list kill regex. And right here I have it set to man pages and helpful buffers. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the source code because by itself midnight does not really do anything. It just runs hooks. It's what's in those hooks that's actually pretty special. That does the heaven lifting. And I would say that midnight mode actually kind of has two modes or two functions, one that runs hooks at night and the other one that cleans, that kills buffers, cleans buffers. So we're gonna go ahead and look at the file right now. So let's go ahead and open it. And let me just focus on this one. Uh, so you can see we define the minor mode over here, which is all great. We have the custom variable, so let's delay. So you can see those are the default ones. Uh, the, regex was just the man but I added the helpful stuff so you'll see and then some other stuff um, so this all these buffers are definitely gonna get killed because most of these you don't really use them after a while and over here we have bu buffers to never kill so scratch and messages it's up to you if you want to kill everything or nothing so everything is customizable of course you got your regex so no big deal now the part that is actually useful is, or at least the function, is this one, clean buffer list. So this you can extract it by yourself and just use it, or you can load up midnight and then just don't even use the hook, just load it for this function, the clean buffer list, because this is a pretty handy function. It goes ahead and kills buffer, and it even logs which one it kills and which one, and some metadata for it. So right here in the, in the message buffer, you'll see when it says, oh, killing this buffer or killing that left or whatever it is. So I'm not gonna go over the logic because I pretty sure you guys can read and me going over the logic is not really anything interesting. You guys are just here to learn about Midnight, how to use it and what's it look like when you run it. So 
I am going to run this in the clean buffers list. So we'll pretend that it's midnight and the and the hook runs this, runs this function. But before I do that, I want to say that if you want this mode is actually pretty small, around 200 lines. So was it 225 lines? So if you guys want, you guys can go ahead and read it up how it's set, how it's created, which is pretty nice little read. It's pretty handy, pretty cool. And let's see, it was from 1998, which is pretty insane. So 1998, damn. That that's it's been here for a while, <laughs> and uh, I guess not a lot of people know about it. Usually, as usually, Emacs is huge, so you can't know everything. But yeah, enough talking. Let me show you how what buffers I have open. So I have around you know like nine or so buffers open. So, but the first one is in the message over here. It's gonna say it's gonna print out what it killed and what it hasn't. So let's go ahead and do clean buffer list mode, and we'll go ahead and call it. And if you can see, there's some output on the bottom killing LDOC for unless, whatever. But if we go to the message buffer messages, you can see right here that there is some log output. Uh, let me recenter it. So scratch, mini buffers, all those. And it even says if it's killing something, killing midnight, killing readme, dashboard, all this is doing all of this, which is pretty useful. It's pretty cool. So if you want a way to easily manage automatically, use midnight hooks. Use, I'm sorry, not the hook, but the mode, midnight mode, and add whatever functions you want to run. Or if you can just add or call the clean list buffer function, which is still pretty handy by itself. You just have to configure it. But yeah, that is pretty much it in a nutshell. If we look at the iBuffer, which was killed, but now we recreated, we see that we pretty much only have scratch and messages, which are the ones that it should not kill, and then type break mode, which is something else that I used. I made a video about it, which I use all the time now. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Let me know if you found this useful, if there's any other mode I haven't talked about or anything else. Thanks.